So today I've got Matt with me. He's going to explain how keywords work on articles. We're going to go through an example. And uh, we're going to take an article that ranks really poorly. And we're going to do all the different things that we have in our power to make it rank better. Um, and we'll show you where keywords fit in in that, uh, in that toolbox of things, right? So you Yes, want and this, uh, this process is called content tuning. And uh, it's a really, really powerful tool for uh, getting people in, uh, in touch with the articles that uh, best resolve the issue for them. So do you want to give us like an overview? What, what, is this, what, are our, what are the things that we have at our disposal? What can we use? Sure, absolutely. So there's two basic principles to content tuning. Um, so the first is obviously getting uh, the right article to show up in the search results. And that's pretty much what we're going to be uh, covering today. Um, but the other aspect of content tuning is also making that article um, interesting to the person who's running the search. So even if the best article to resolve the issue is at the top of the list, um, if the user doesn't have confidence that that article is going to resolve the issue for them, they aren't going to click on it. So uh, no matter how high of a, a ranking the article gets, if we don't make it enticing to the end user, then uh, it, it's kind of a pointless exercise. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, you know, modifying titles and search summaries to uh, in inspire better user confidence. And we're also going to talk about um, you know, tweaking the body of the content and tweaking the keywords. Um, and you can see how that changes the way the articles rank in search. OK. So um, I set this up on our development site. Uh, and let me show you what I did. So I created this article called Fix Problems with Popular Videos. Okay. And it mentions the word flash in here one time, right here. And, um, and it's got a bunch of uh, Samuel L. Jackson quotes in it. And it doesn't mention flash anywhere else. So I thought, let's pretend that the problem is with flash video, right? And so it does. It says flash videos right here. But let's, so let's say that's the problem, right? So. I created this article and I did a search for flash video. I get 503 results and this article shows up on page two down. It's the fourth. Nope. If six, what is that? Down here. It's the middle of page two. That's where the article shows up. Right? And it matches video and videos. Uh, I don't know. Oh, because that's in the so summary says, so this is the article's titled Fix Problems with Popular Videos. The summary is, are you having trouble viewing video on the internet? The article will help you solve problems that may be preventing videos from working. Right? So it doesn't even say anything about Flash here. So let's say the real problem is, right, it really is about Flash. So what do we do? We're like, man, our article shows up in the middle of page two. So, right, what, so what's the, the first thing we try? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make the title enticing, right? So you want to try to work the language of the user into the article as much as possible. So if somebody was searching for this article, you know, what, what sort of language would they use? So if I was having a problem with Flash video, um, you know, I would probably search for something like uh, flash videos don't work or issues with flash videos. Okay. Um, and our title right now just doesn't match that language. We've got, it matches on videos, um, but we really should get flash probably into the title of the article. Okay. So I'm going to change the title, right? So let's do, uh, what did you say? Uh, flash videos don't work, right? So let's try that. Flash videos don't work. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So here's our new article. Now let's run a search, flash video. Let's run that search again. And oh, it comes up number two all of a sudden. Yep. So good. yeah, you can see just by uh, something as easy as changing the title, uh, working the user language in there, we're already getting better search results. Um, number two isn't bad, but I think that we can probably push it to number one. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, excerpt as well. So uh, 
what we want to do is we want to make the user very, very confident that whatever article they're looking at in the search results is the one that's going to solve their issue for them. Um, so we've got the, the language that they've used in the title. Uh, we should try to work the same language into the search uh, summary if we can. Okay. So are you having trouble, let's say, are you having trouble viewing Flash videos? Right? This. Yep. Let's say that's kind of a typo. This article will help you solve problems that may be preventing. Good. Add it again. I think that's probably good for now. Let's take a look and see what that did. Sure. So one of the things you want to be very careful of with content tuning um, is that it requires a little bit of finesse. Uh, so it's not something that you want to go through and just nuke big sections of uh, article for uh, no reason or to go crazy. Um, adding new new words or new language to the article. You want to try to tweak it just a little bit at a time. Okay. So I'm going to review and approve that real quick. So we have our new one. Let's run our search. And there it is, actually, already at the top. Yep. So what about does it come up if someone just searches for just Flash? We should look. So now it's still number two there. Yep. And so, so uh, let's this... take a look at the body of this article and see what we can do there. See if we can push it all the way to the top of the list. Okay. So the body of the article is it's pretty long. There's a lot of words. Mm -hmm. And we know because I set it up this way, flash videos is only in it once. Right. So what, what, so what would be a strategy to do for that? Right. So to, to really understand this, you have to understand the way the, uh, the search scoring works. So each section of the article, the title, the summary, the body, um, there's a certain number of points that are allocated for that field. So you can have, we'll say, 10 points total is the maximum you can get for the body of the article, right? Um, but it also works into a, a percentage of how much your um, search matches on that field overall. So if you look at this article, we only say flash videos once. So that's the, that's the search that we've done and that's the words that it's gonna try to match on. Um, but if you look at how many words are in this article, flash videos is maybe you know a fifth of a percent of the overall number of words. So we're not getting a very high score for the body of this article. We're not getting that, those full 10 points. Um, so that's one of the reasons why shorter articles tend to rank higher in search. So one of the things that we can do is we can try to keep the articles concise. So we can take out anything that's, um, you know, uh, extra text that doesn't necessarily need to be there that isn't really helping the user get to their end goal. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can increase the frequency of the words that the user is going to be searching for. So if we only say flash video in the body of the content once, maybe we can use it a few more times. Um, again, you don't want to do it, um, you don't want to go overboard. You don't want to make the entire article repetitive. Um, right. So it requires a little bit of finesse. It requires some tweaking. So let's try. So let's go back and let's edit this article. And let's say under each solution, right, we can add the words flash video in here. Like we work it into the sentence somehow. Yep. I'm not going to really try to work it into the sentence, but... Right. Uh, let's add it here. It would be good if I actually spelled flash right. And let's add it down here. So now maybe flash video will be uh, will be. Um, 2% of the text. We, right, we, so now we, when, we, when we run our, our search, we'll get four matches on the, uh, on, on the actual words that we used. Um, so we'll get a greater percentage of the points allocated. Okay. So let me run the search just flash. Okay. So it's still number two. It didn't bump it up to number right. one. So uh, we can look at the article, we can look at that content and see if we can make it uh, more concise. So there's less overall words that we're competing against. Right. So let's pretend we're super good at doing that. And we can like knock out 
this whole paragraph out of that one. And I mean, normally you wouldn't be able to probably knock this much text out of it unless exactly, yeah, unless you were like crazy wordy to begin with, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's see what that does. Uh, okay. okay, so now we have a, a, a much shorter article, and we say flash uh, in it more times. Yep. So let's say still number two. Still number two. So in most cases, if your article is in the top three search results, um, yep. the person will probably see it and a title and an enticing uh, search summary, they'll probably click on it. But let's say, for example, there was a legitimate reason that we really, really wanted this article to be number one. Uh, we've gone through, we've modified the title, we've looked at the search summary, um, we've played with the, the content, the body of the article, we've added uh, more uh, frequency of the words that the user is using. Um, we've gone through and we've edited everything out of the article that, that's unneeded, so this thing is just down to the bare bones. Um, it would be at this point, if we absolutely had to push it to the top of the page, that they would, we would then use the keywords field and we can give it a few extra points and try to bump it a little higher. Okay, so is this where, uh, so now, so let's, uh, let me edit this, let me go back to the keywords field. So. What do I do? Do I just type flash, 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 flash? Do I get, how does that work? So the keywords field works the same way as any of the other fields in the uh, article. So the more words you have, probably the harder it's going to be to get a good match and to get total points for that field. Um, so if the search that we're really trying to get this thing to the very, very top of the search results is this one word flash search, then we'd probably only want to put just the word flash. Then we'd get the full points for that one. Right. So if that word. field is worth five points and somebody searches for flash, we would have a hundred percent match on the keywords field. So you would get all five points in that case. Okay. So let's try that. Okay. All right, now let's give it a try. Let's run our search, and it's number one. How about that? That's pretty Piece awesome. Piece of cake, right? Yeah. yeah. If only it was that easy all the time. <laughs> right. So the keywords field, it's, it's a very powerful tool that we have, but it's definitely something that we want to use sparingly. So uh, from the user standpoint, it's not a field that they ever see. So if we put strange words in the keywords field, and uh, they're seeing search results that don't make sense. Um, it's matching on a word that they aren't seeing in the title or in the body. Um, it can be confusing to the user and they have less confidence in the articles. Um, also, because it changes the way that the articles are, are scored and ranked, um, if we go through and we modify a bunch of them, we'd have to keep track of all of the ones that we've done that to um, so that we understand, looking at the search results, why things are scoring the way that they are. Um, you may look at an article and wonder, you know, why is this one ranking so high? It could be because of the keywords that were added to it. Um, so, so right now, it's really a tool that we want to use as a last resort. Um, always start with the basic content tuning. So titles, summaries, body. Uh, think about word frequency and think about the length of the document. Awesome. Thanks for clearing that up, making that seem easy. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's definitely uh, pretty confusing stuff. but. Um, We've got some tools and, and uh, we should all know how to use them. Cool.